Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to episode 2 of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Thank you again for all the support on the last episode. I'm really looking forward to today. We are going to go and try to find a village. We have a few achievements for us to achieve in every episode, which is going to be the main goal for every single episode. I'm going to try to pick from the comment sections and come up with some neat ideas that we can try to have as set goals per episode. So today, we're going to show you guys uh, the progress of the campsite. I've been doing a lot of work off screen to try to kind of complete the whole look uh, and then we're gonna try to make a shield find a village and potentially make a pet and as you can see behind me i want to show you this real quick before i show you the progress of the campsite this was an area that i went mining off screen and as you can tell uh that's only one thing possible from going mining and we did find some diamonds we found a lot of supplies uh like gold iron and all the good stuff which i'm going to show you how much we got so if you guys are watching right now in the comment sections before you see how many diamonds i got let me know your guess in the comment sections of how many diamonds I was able to get now if you were at the live stream try not to cheat but for those who have not seen the live stream best of luck to you guys all right so let me show you guys the campsite this is the finished product right now um, the only thing that's been changed as you can see is there are two new tents uh, and we do have a little cooking area so we have our campfire we have our small little cooking area. I put some uh, campfires at the top. I uh, have a smoker over here just when we want to cook some food. And I think it's pretty neat. I also did something really cool. So from a distance, you can see that there's a little bit of smoke that just kind of pops up right now. You're going to see in just a second. It's not too, um, you know, crazy, but it's just a little bit. And what I did was I actually put a campfire right underneath this grass block. And I just close the trap door and it slows it down. So it just adds a little bit of a look to it. And then what I did was I moved everything from inside our starter base uh, into a storage tent. I have a storage tent right across over here. I got plenty of wool now, finally. I did some wool hunting <laughs> and uh, some sheep hunting to get the wool is what I mean. And yeah, this is going to be our storage unit right here. So this is everything I put in here that I found and I have so far. All the wool stuff. And I'm going to try to maybe add one more tent if I can. We have some of the uh, crop stuff. Well, actually, let's go and get into bed real quick. I don't want to be attacked by any mobs right now because I'm trying to show you this amazing campsite. Uh, let me know what you think about the campsite, by the way. I'd be curious to know your, and if you have any suggestions, too. Uh, so, yeah, this is everything we have. There's not really too much in any of the barrels, but trust me, by the next few episodes, they're going to get full. So, I'm going to show you guys how many diamonds I actually have, and I have now 21 diamonds. So, if you guessed 21 diamonds, uh, don't really know. You'll get an extra star on your name. I'll heart your message. How about that? I'll heart your message. Um, so yeah, 21 diamonds. I got 42 iron, uh, three emeralds, which we can take with us if we want to do some trading with some villagers, uh, plenty of gold and some other decent stuff. So yeah, that's not too bad. Now, uh, this over here is going to be our armory tent or our armor tent, whatever you want to call it. Um, essentially, it has all our tools and armor, um, and that's pretty much it, and pretty much has blast furnaces to smelt ores any faster if we need to, and we have all these, forgot about these, we gotta actually convert them, because we're gonna be doing the entrance of the, the mine shaft once we get back from finding a village, but like I said, today's first achievement is, we already showed you guys the campsite, it's pretty simple, but I do like the way it looks, um, and I added some windows here, as you can see, so from the inside, once you walk down in here, you have some little windows, which is pretty neat. And then I made sure to add as much uh, decorative stuff around the base, um, as you can see behind this tent. So I think it looks really, really well put together, and I think it's, it's coming along really nicely. So let's go ahead and make ourselves our first shield. Um, and I believe if we use this, we don't have to craft it because it'll do it for us. Uh, will it not actually do it for us? Hold on. Oh, that's surprising. And I guess not. Oh, wait, we need a crafting table. That's why. Okay. So where do we have our shield? There it is. So we have ourselves our first shield, which looks pretty basic, but it's going to do the job when we go to try to find uh, some villages. And I actually did find a few villages when I was in the stream. So we're going to go in that direction. Uh, anything else that I want to make? We have our brand new set of armor, which looks pretty nice. Got to say so myself. But yeah, let's go grab some food. We'll put this in the smoker. Is that all the food we have? See, we have to make a farm, too. But let's go throw this in the smoker real quick, like so. Uh, there we go. I know I didn't take any of the coal with me, but I just want to take a little bit of extra food with me. I have everything I need for this journey. Um, I'm probably going to put away all the iron so we don't lose it. So let's go toss that in there. Same with the stone. We don't need all that stone. 
torches shield looking nice let's actually put this where it should go right over there and yeah this looks really good i know we have diamonds but i want to save the diamonds for when we get an enchantment table so that way we don't really use all our supplies so we're gonna go and find the next village i think this is more than enough food for us we're gonna let that cook and yeah so i'm gonna start heading up in uh, this direction i know there's a, a pillager area um, but I also know there's another village in that direction. So the first place I want to check out will be to go towards that direction there. I think it was an actually pretty nice biome too. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for all the streams. Uh, I'm going to be trying to stream as consistently as possible alongside uploading as much as possible. I know that's that's a lot of work, but you know, with being in quarantine, uh, it's not really quarantine yet, but you know what I mean. Essentially with this whole uh, coronavirus yeah, we just pretty much have to stay inside just to help reduce the spread of it. So make sure you guys do your part. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out this area. Ooh, we have a nice little river here. This is actually quite a nice little river. Okay, that's a good spot to consider making something here. I do want to make a few more things. Like I said, every episode, there's going to be achievements that we're going to have to try and get. And so far, we're making pretty good progress, I have to say so myself. So we have ourselves like a flat land here. It looks pretty it looks pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, but I think it's in the near distance. Is that a horse there? Oh, those are some cows. It would have been nice if we could have had ourselves a few horses to add to our collection. We probably will have to do that. But uh, as, as you guys can tell, the main theme of... Oh, there we go. That's the village. We found the campfires. Uh, oh, we have plenty of horses over here. That's good to know. So we can always come here for a few horses. Uh, we can even probably try to get ourselves a horse. That could be our first pet sort of say unless you guys want to decide what type of pet we get maybe we can get a pet fox i know those are really difficult to do um but we'll see if we can try to achieve that in today's episode or just a pet wolf all right so this is a really really nice biome now why is all this cloud should be on there we go bump that up to 16 all right, that's a lot better. All right, let's go ahead and see if there's anything in this village for us. I, I really doubt it. I don't think there's going to be too much because I don't see any. Oh, I do see some stuff. Let's check it out. We have a chest over here. Okay, we have some wood, some bread. Uh, we don't need the berries. I'll take potatoes for our farm. Um, there is a nice farm over here, so we could probably get some stuff from here. Looks pretty nice. Hello, villager. What do you What do you trade for, actually? Uh, emeralds for six bread and then carrots for one emerald. That's not a bad trade either, I have to say. So he fell inside there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab... Um, let's just grab some more wheat. You know, they can always recrop those, I'm pretty sure. We'll grab a pumpkin too. Here we go. Just grab a few more seeds. We're not going to try to loot all your stuff out. Okay, guys? Let's check out this place. We have some cauldrons. We have a chest. Okay, more emeralds and some more bread. Uh, I'll take the leather for books. That's definitely worth something we're going to need. Uh, I don't know if I want to take their cauldrons. Don't think I have any use for those. I'm going to try to leave this village intact as much as possible. And then what I want to do eventually is maybe even fortify this village and make it one of our uh, villager trading areas. It's not too far away, as you guys can tell, from our actual base. Ooh. This is an interesting villager. Okay, so it's still expensive. I have to say it's a little bit expensive. But, yeah, you guys have some blast furnaces in here. Pretty nice. Okay, so let's see what else we can find here. I think this here... Oh, they have a little farm, which is pretty nice. Anything inside here? Looks like nothing here. Probably nothing upstairs either. Oh, there is a chest. Okay, some more bread. You know what? We'll take the berries. Why the heck not? Just in case we need extra berries for our... Oh, we forgot to get a bed. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to steal a bed for our journey here. Because I don't want to run into the night and uh, find any creepers blowing us up and whatnot. All right. This is a, honestly, this is a really nice village. We have a nice biome around here. Um, this is definitely a village that we can try and protect for sure. I think you guys could let me know in the comment sections what your opinions on that are. But let's just check out a few more of these village houses. Uh, nothing in here. And let's check out if there's anything inside here. Oh, there's a lot of villagers. You guys are trapped in here. Oh, no wonder. Okay, there you go. I just set you free. What type of tra you have no trades for me? Okay, but let's check out this chest uh, More potatoes. We'll take it and we'll take the sweet berries. All right, so I just freed <laughs> a House of villagers, so that can be an achievement in itself uh, Anything here definitely not okay We'll go ahead and just take all the crops here all the ones that are needing to be harvest 
And uh, you know what? I'm going to just take one of these. Just pretend that never happened. Ooh, this is actually good. This is coarse dirt. We can always take a little bit extra coarse dirt, even though we can make it ourselves. Uh, this is actually really nice because we have this biome right by here. So we can definitely do some work here with the biomes. Uh, that's actually really, really nice. Okay, so I think we successfully checked out this this village. I think there's one more little tower in the corner that I missed out. So let's go and check out these two homes. And then we're going to go ahead and just try to see if there's any other villages nearby. Um, and see if we can find any other loot. Let's go in sheep. Oh, this is a nice little tower here. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking that this is a good spot to go ahead and do something with. Uh, you know what? We might want to take the brewing stand. Did I just... No, we have it. Okay. Because I definitely want to do stuff with a brewing stand. We'll take the pot. And there's probably nothing up here. Yep, nothing up there. All right. So that is our successful mission of finding a village and actually getting some decent stuff from it. Mostly crops. But hey, you know what? We didn't have that stuff really too much. And we could definitely do something with this village for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find another village. I'll make sure to share the coordinates for that in the description if you follow the seed. And yeah, let's go check out the next village. All right, everyone. So before we get started to show you guys that I did find another village, um, there is a pillager uh, safe house right across over there. Um, that's something I don't want to go and try to fight right now because I feel like I would need a bow and arrow uh, that would definitely help us for sure. Uh, but definitely a place that we are going to try and take over in the next few episodes and make that a safe house for the villages. So that would be a cool idea. So let's go check out this village um, right across over here. It looks like a very basic one, um, something that you see very often. So uh, nothing too special. Like I said, I'm not trying to loot out these villages completely. Uh, I'm only going to be checking out if there's anything very interesting around them. Definitely see, I am going to take, oh, there's a cat over there, but I don't want a cat. Um, let's see. I'll definitely take some of the hay because the then we can get ourselves a horse, but we don't have a saddle. That's my only concern is we don't have a saddle. So we're probably going to have to be stuck with getting a pet wolf. They have a pretty big farm. I'm not going to lie over there. So we're going to take some of their wheat, uh, mainly because we can definitely use this around our base, uh, our campsite. And we can get ourselves a large farm, or like at least a campsite farm, something decent size. Oh, what is that? That is a large, it's like a meteor hit this area. Okay, let's keep checking around. Okay, this is a pretty big village. It almost seems like there's two villages in one. You guys let me know in the comment sections, but it, it almost feels like there's two villages in one. There's a lot of trading campsite areas. Um, okay, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, definitely, this is a really interesting village. There's a, there's a lot going on, a lot to process, but they have a lot of farms, and they even have a horse in there, so we can definitely always come back and get ourselves a horse. Uh, we have some apples, some more potatoes, some bread, okay, nothing too crazy. I'm just trying to loot out as uh, a little as possible if there's anything good around here. doesn't look there's too much in this village, to be honest with you guys, uh, but I do like that they have some horses in there. We could always come back and get ourselves a horse once we have a saddle. Uh, or if a villager trades, that would be really nice if they trade saddles. But let's check out what's inside these. Oh, there's a lot of villagers stuck in here. Here, I'll set you guys free. If you guys don't want to be free. Okay, never mind. Let's continue to check out this area if there's anything in here. Oh, we have a chest. Okay, we have a book. Some more emeralds, some more bread, and potatoes. I'll take those. And uh, let's see what's inside. Okay, never mind. Oh, that, that, what the heck happened to, this is a, this looks like a little farm, doesn't it? Yeah, this for sure is a small little farmhouse, like a little barn. I like that. Pretty neat. Okay, that's pretty much everything around this village. I thought there would be a little bit more, but it seems like there isn't. And there really isn't too many good uh, trading villagers either. So, uh, yeah, you know what? I think that's enough for checking out the villages. Let's go head on back to our uh, campsite and we can finish up the episode. All right, everyone. So we're back at the campsite. And uh, like I said, we officially have achieved showing you guys the campsite, making a shield, uh, finding two villages now, and also like a pillager uh, safe house. I don't know what you call I think it's a safe house, right? And then we have to get a pet and also just finish off working on our uh, little mining area. Now, I've already done a few little things here. As you can tell, I've added just a small little beginning idea. So we're going to build off of this. It's going to look a lot better once we're done. But I did see a pet fox just sleeping over there. So what I want to do is I want to make a boat. 
Now, if we crouch by a fox, it won't leave. And it's been like, we're both like, if you guys don't know, my skin is a fox, right? So it's just sleeping on the hill. I thought that's so majestic. Imagine if we have like a pet fox, little king, like a little castle here for this one fox. So we're just going to have to crouch and put him in the boat. That way he can't run away. Please don't, please don't run away. No, stay there. Yes. Oh, this is going to be impossible. <laughs> No. Okay, this is not going to work, is it? Okay, this is definitely not going to work. Okay, yes, this will work. This will work. Wait. The shield. No. Why is there... Oh, my gosh. What? That's why. That's why he ran away. And you're selling nothing decent either. This is all a ripoff, villager. All a ripoff. Don't like... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, okay. All right. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. There's another fox. Okay. That fox is not helping us. We can definitely get this fox for sure. Okay. Let's see. Wait, what? You know what? I give up. I give up. I thought this would work. I give up right now. This is just a too much work for me. I fix up the walls. So let's do that first. So we're going to add a little bit of just a mix of every type of stone in here like that where's the there it is cobblestone so we're gonna mess up the walls it doesn't really have a specific pattern or look to it it's just doing it as random as possible uh whatever looks best for you is fine um but yeah just just mix and match that's all you really have to do right now so let's do the same with this bottom part we'll put maybe an upside down block like that and then in this one here we could just add maybe cobblestone so we have that over here perfect yeah so i'll just fix up the inside like that okay nothing crazy a little bit of dirt a little bit of a mix definitely fix up the ceiling here the rooftop uh let's fix that up we don't really want dirt hanging here so what i'm gonna do instead is i'm gonna add cobblestone like that and we'll probably change up those two blocks like that and just change up any other ones that are just lying around here so we could just make it look a little better. Yeah, I figured the lantern was going to fall regardless. Did you see how that lantern fell? That was kind of interesting. Uh, do we still have it in our inventory? Yeah, we do. Okay, perfect. Let's we'll just place that over there. And then we're just going to fix up this wall. So it's just a very basic ruin entrance. Uh, but the main entrance is going to be this over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly pause it, add a little bit to it, and you guys will see what it's going to look like. All right, everyone. So uh, I added a little bit more to it. It's not too crazy of a design. But over here, I just kind of added it so it kind of curves back around. Um, and I have a few other plans. I want to add a support beam just kind of going in from the ground all the way there. I feel like that looks kind of interesting. It's a little bit different. Um, I want to see how it looks if we um, do that. I feel like that looks quite nice. Um, you guys let me know what you guys think about that. I also want to take this down here. And we could add another support beam going on top. And we'll just do this. I don't think that looks half bad. And then in here, we could probably just kind of change it up and put some stone. Kind of some random stone around here would look kind of interesting i think so let's go ahead and try to do something like this we'll put a uh, where is it this crack stone inside here perfect we'll probably put maybe a stone wall th no that doesn't look too good there stone wall there we'll probably put another crack stone there and we'll probably add something like that close this up in here just kind of give it a little bit more of a beat down look. We'll probably have to put something in here. At least some... Oh, wait. Hold on. What would look really cool is if we clean up the inside like this. And I'll show you guys. Instead, we could put some stone inside there. Let's do that. Uh, let's do cobblestone. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot, a lot better. Let's see if there's anything else that I want to add for now. I feel like we definitely have to let this uh, put some definitely a lot of terraforming around here for sure. So we could definitely do something like this. Add a little bit more to it. This little piece here is bugging me. So I'm going to do that instead. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. 
And now what I want to do is just to kind of add some more decorative stuff around it. And then we can close off uh, uh, today's episode. I think it's been a really productive episode. We definitely had a lot of achievements. That's for sure. We'll get a, a barrel too. Um, where do we have those? Is that in here? Yeah, we'll take a few barrels. We'll take a few trap doors. Take a few of those. Do we have any? Yeah, we do. Definitely need that. I don't think I have any more bone meal, which is not the end of the world. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much all of it. All right, the sun's going down. I know we have to try to hurry up, but we can definitely add a lantern hanging from here. Let's see if that would look quite decent or not. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, actually. As you walk in, you kind of go down this way. So I'm going to leave that. I think that's fine. I want to add a little trap door right in the corner there. Okay, let's just quickly jump in our bed here. Um, what I want to do is we'll add a few of those kind of growing around here okay this part here is kind of bothering me there we go that's a little better i think probably have to grow that into the hill there we go i feel like that's a little bit better it adds more to it and we'll do something like this here Give it a little bit more of a look. So as you walk in, it feels a little bit more overgrown. And let's add, I don't really, we can't really grow a tree that quick right now. But I'm going to add a few more barrels. I think I want to add a barrel in the corner here. And then one more just kind of hanging out like that. And we could probably put one more right in that corner. Yeah, that's definitely coming to life a lot more. I do like that a lot, a lot. So let's just put, maybe we can put a lantern on the top corner right here. Just the more lanterns, the better, I think. It just looks a little bit more complete. Um, let's see if there's anything else. I think we should probably add... I mean, we don't really need a composter, but I feel like it looks kind of interesting if you have it around uh, the mine shaft, like the entrance. So that's going to be my look for now. I'll probably add a little bit more to it um, throughout different episodes, or throughout different live streams. Um, and as we go on, I might change a few more details. But for now, I think it looks good. I want to add a little bit more of an overhang. So let's go and just finalize that let's just add a little bit more of an overhang like that hold on let's bring that down perfect and then we could just complete it by doing this like that perfect all right yeah that's a lot better adding a small overhang definitely uh finalized it a little bit more but yeah let me know in the comment sections what you guys think about this um i'm pretty happy with it it's pretty on the spot building this one i have to say i didn't really have too much time into planning it but i feel like it looks really good we'll add a few more details if we need to in the future but yeah that's it for today's episode thank you again so much for watching hopefully you guys are enjoying this series as much as i am and i'm gonna try to upload this as daily as possible uh, so yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that notification bell. Thanks again for watching. My name is Alex and peace out and stay foxy.